you'll find a remote control included with every one of our next-gen image and custom image infrared panels. This remote is key to operating the heater and over the course of this video we'll be going over how to use your remote in order to get the best out of your panel. Before starting, insert two AAA batteries in the back of the remote. You will also need to connect your next-gen infrared heater to your main supply, ensuring that the red switch is on and the green switch is off. To pair the remote with the heater, press and hold the mode and CF buttons together for three seconds. You will hear a beep sound from the back of the heater. This indicates that the remote and the heater have successfully been paired with each other. To pair the remote with another heater, start by switching off any panels that it is already paired to. Then, simply repeat the process explained previously with the red switch on and the green switch off on the second panel. Repeat this for as many panels as you need. Use the on off button to switch the heater on and off. The thermostat will beep to indicate when the heater has been switched on or off. Pressing the CF button will toggle the LCD display between degrees Celsius and degrees Fahrenheit. To lock the remote, press and hold the lock button for 3 seconds. The lock icon will then appear on the LCD display. Hold the lock button again for 3 seconds to unlock the remote. To set the date and time, press and hold the time button for 3 seconds. You will see the year start flashing, which you can adjust using the up and down buttons. Once you are happy with your selection, press the time button again. Now you can adjust the month using the up and down buttons. Pressing the time button will confirm your selection, after which you can select the day again using the up and down buttons to make your choice. Following this, you can adjust the time selecting the hour first followed by the minutes. Pressing the time button once more will complete your date and time settings. To toggle your 7 day timer and adaptive start settings, start by pressing and holding the mode button for 3 seconds. To begin with, you can set your weekday timer on or off, indicated by the flashing timer and numbers 1 to 5 on the screen. Use the up and down buttons to change the settings and press the mode button once more to confirm. You will then see timer flashing with the number 6, allowing you to toggle the timer for Saturday. Repeating the process then lets you do the same for Sunday, indicated by the flashing 7. Pressing the mode button once more allows you to toggle adaptive start on and off, indicated by the flashing smart on the LCD display. Use the up and down buttons to make your selection before confirming by pressing the mode button to finish. We will cover how to change the time and temperature settings later on in this video. Pressing the favourite button will automatically switch your desired room temperature to a preset favourite temperature. By default, this will be set to 20 degrees Celsius out of the box. We will cover how to change this later on in the video. The built-in automatic temperature control allows you to set your desired temperature using the up and down buttons to adjust it in 1 degree increments. The panel will then switch on and off to maintain your temperature. Ensure your remote is in an area near where you are most likely to sit, as the temperature sensor is located on the top of the remote. You can tell when the panel is on thanks to the LED indicator located on the bottom right corner of its surface. The 7 day timer allows you to set what time you would like your heater to come on during the weekdays and on Saturdays and on Sundays. To alter these settings, press and hold the set button for 3 seconds. Initially, you will be able to set what time you want the heater to come on during the weekdays, indicated by the flashing time and 1 to 5. Pressing the up button will adjust the hour and pressing the down button will adjust the minutes in 15 minute increments. Once you are happy with the time you have set, Press the set button once more to change when you would like the heater to go off during the weekdays, using the same process. Once done, you can then set the temperature you would like your room to be. Use the up and down buttons to adjust the temperature. To confirm your selection, 
press the set button again. Once this is done, you can repeat the same process for Saturdays, indicated by the flashing 6, and Sundays indicated by the flashing 7. Pressing the set button after selecting your chosen temperature for Sundays allows you to then change your adaptive start settings. Adaptive start allows your heater to learn your room and switch on early so that your room is at the right temperature at exactly the right time for you. After having adjusted your timer settings, you can alter your adaptive start settings using up and down to adjust the time that you would like it to come on, using the up button to change the hour and the down button to change the minutes. Pressing the set button allows you to alter the temperature you would like it to reach for that time. Use the up and down buttons to do this before pressing the set button once more. After saving your adaptive start times, the final setting you can edit is your favourite temperature. Simply use the up and down buttons to change this before pressing the set button one last time to save all your settings. For everything we've covered in this video, you can find full downloadable instructions on our website and in the description for this video. For all other inquiries, please get in touch with us on 0116 321 4124 or send an email to sales at surreaheating.co.uk.